The challenge that we set out to solve was the mystery of HIV AIDS, which was one of the most historic and devastating plagues to hit mankind literally in our history. It came upon us suddenly and unexpectedly, and we started off knowing nothing about it, not even what the etiology was. And then we went from no etiology to getting the virus, to understanding the disease, to developing therapies that turned out to be life-saving for what was otherwise a uniformly fatal disease. That was an extraordinary challenge, and that was the thing that we devoted virtually all of our efforts for. My particular area was in the area of understanding the pathogenesis of HIV. My role as one of the scientific leaders, being the director of the major funder of research uh, on AIDS in the world, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, was the impact that this had on the community because we developed life-saving therapies which now in the modern day has taken this from an almost uniformly fatal disease to being able to have people live almost normal lifespans if they take their therapy and suppress their viral load. With regard to remaining scientific challenges, a vaccine is essentially the holy grail of prevention of HIV. We're doing a rather good job now of preventing infection by a number of mechanisms, but if we have a vaccine, that will, I believe, be the nail in the coffin of HIV, and that's one of the major goals that we have, in addition to trying to get therapies that would be in the form of a cure, in, in essence, not having people take therapy for the rest of their lives. That's a lofty goal. We may not reach it, but we certainly are going to try.